Well, Maria, thank you very much uh, for joining us this morning. I'm and I'm Rob nervous. Allen, and uh, I own the Range Master Company. And I looked, looked for something. My husband and I, we were going to try and make something because when uh, they told me that I was on my last visit for therapy, and I said, how can it be when I was just starting to do my raising of my arm and bringing it to the back because I had a lot of bumps during the course because we thought I had a blood clot so they took me off therapy I had a lot of things happen in the way so I was like this is it but I haven't finished what I need to do and so I in my mind I told my husband I need to find something if they I can't continue then I need I know that the um, pulley that they had me on at least I can work harder to lift it and do what I need to do. Because so if I leave there. it just sitting, yeah. So um, I talked to my therapist and I said, what do you think for me to use this on my own? And she says, well, let me know. And I showed her a picture of it. She says, that looks pretty good. And then when I got it, just before I was on my last visit, she said, that is really good. And I said, yeah, I think it works really nice too. And I was so proud about it because I said, now I feel comfortable because I'm not just thrown out there and not being able to do what I can do. Well, that's our I am dream. The type, yeah. Well, my whole goal was I'm not the type of person that I want to just sit and let my arm just hang. Yeah. And I, I went on a task to look for what I needed to do. She prepared me with exercise to do first. And then she told me, now that you got the pulley, I'll tell you what else you can do, which was the exercise I was doing there. Yeah. So I incorporated both of them. I made a notebook and uh, I have my exercise I do before I get into the pulley. What do you, what do, you so, do? What do you do before you get into the pulley? How do you warm up? I have to do the uh, exercise where I take my arm and I put it over my head it stretches it because uh, I had muscles in my back that completely, I had a nerve test done and they said my nerves were dead there. Ooh. So I've had, I got to really stretch the, the arm. So I do my stretching for that. Then I do a different stretching that has to be laying where my arm completely stays in a position, but I'm pulling. Mm -hmm. And I do the one with the uh, cane where it goes back to push all the way back oh, yeah. so I have a couple she gave me pictures and all of that to do so I set it up in the motion that I have and how many times I do it and then when I finish all of that then I can get sit down and go to the pulley I have to do the warm-up first oh that's wise that's wise has she got you doing any strengthening exercises yet yes I've been doing a lot uh I do a lot because she has me doing one with the pulley where I have to myself bring my hand completely over which I you could see yeah. and uh, then I let it go down my right hand doesn't bring it up I have to bring oh, that hand all it. the way up oh yeah and then with my right arm whatever I cannot do is where I pull it up more to raise it to give it the extra I have to do that side way and then she gave me other ways to do it that I can bring it in a different way which I see in your website you have, you have some of the exercise I had to do too. Yeah. So well, I me, went ahead and printed them and put it in my book. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me, how did you hurt your shoulder to begin with, you know? I had a frozen shoulder. I had it for a long time and, I, and it just stayed, I would complain about it and I worked with it and did a lot of exercise and stuff for it until it got where it just wouldn't do anymore. Yeah, did you eventually I have didn't, hurt? surgery yes i did uh -huh. they did they they uh, replaced it i didn't have anything to do with a rotor cup or anything like that yeah i what i got doesn't i don't think i have a rotor cup in it well, yeah you you did you get a shoulder replacement then uh, yes uh, so you have a titanium some titanium going on in there oh i'm all titanium in my body if i told you <laughs> <laughs> well let's just talk about your shoulder <laughs> that's interesting and so your recovery you know it generally goes faster when you get a replacement than if they try to fix that torn rotator cuff it's a little more painful when they do the it's it, it seems more drastic as a surgery but it actually yes. recovers faster well i was going my 
recovery therapy, I was going faster than I was normally supposed to be doing. Yeah. And she was like, we can't move any for faster than that because you're not ready yet. And I don't want to push you. And then that's when we had the, the, the incident with the shoulder, when we found out that the muscle was, I had problems. So then yeah. I couldn't do anything. I had to stop everything. And um, I was very angry because then I became where, okay, then that's going to make me now slow down my recovery. Right, right. Probably only got authorized for a certain number of visits by, I'm assuming you're uh, about my age, I'm 70. Um, and I'm 70. I would guess you're over, you're 70? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, Medicare is going to say you can only go so many times, right? Yeah. And then they're going to cut you off. And that's probably well. Probably I was, I didn't use all my uh, visits good. because I twice they had to stop my therapy twice because then I had problem with my finger, my small finger and my elbow that I couldn't do anything. Oh, yeah. everything hurt. It all react with the muscle. Yeah. So then they put me on a medication because then they said, "Oh, you're gonna have to have surgery on your elbow." You're gonna. Then they started saying. I had a pinched nerve on my neck, in which I do. So everything started falling apart. So I was like, oh my God, now another delay. Yeah, yeah. You started you sounded then, like you might have some nerve damage there. I, I thought that's I do. I have nerve damage. Yes, I do. Yeah. And uh the, I went to my surgeon for my neck and he told me, I don't want to do surgery. Let's try giving you. He gives me Lyrica. Yeah. Now, as soon as I took that, all of that went away and I was ready to <laughs> hit the, and uh, I told her, I said, I'm ready. I got to make up for the loss of time. Yeah. Well, bless that, your heart. When was your surgery? But then I get, huh? When was your surgery? September. Okay. So, you know, some of these people, it takes them a lot longer. When did you feel like you were back in the ball game? Um, how long have you had your pulley? Um, uh, not even a month. I've already, you know, I've been using it. Okay. Camille, because do you I, know what? I was like, no, I was going to ask she Camille. Got, she, she got, got what? On January 16th is when she ordered it. And what yeah. did she get? She got the Blue Ranger with the metal bracket. Yeah, so, I like it. <laughs> thank you. There, there, that's 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 the piece I need to capture here when we when we do an actual. Uh, I, like I like it because now. it's very easy when you put it on. It just hooks right into there, and you close the door, and you start working. Do you leave it up or do you take it down when you're done? No, I leave it right there. Yeah, that was the idea. of The metal bracket is it would stay up because you know people with shore sore shoulders, they got enough problems to try to climb over the door three times. Uh, oh, well, a day, you know? smart people will go get a little ladder or step ladder and put it up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Or, or like I do, I tell my husband, you're a little taller than I am, put it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'm a little taller than my, my wife's 5'2 and I'm 6'3. So uh, Ooh, yeah. I get all the, I get all the high up chores. Yeah. Well, this really is exactly what I had hoped we could do. Um, I, well, I, all I can say is that I feel like I have given back my life because now I can continue. Because like you said, Medicare only gives you so much visits and then we're left behind. And it's up to us to continue. If we don't get what we need, and I think, it's nice for the places where we go and have therapy that they should have something that they can say, hey, continue this. This is a nice place where you can get this and your price is phenomenal. <laughs> Thank because you. Because I cannot ask for more. I mean, I've seen places that are more expensive and that is easy to take. I, if I had to travel, I can put it in my suitcase. I have no problem. And I can continue what I need to do. Well. All right. Thank you so much for today's little interview. If we need to get back with you, we will.